General Windu. Perhaps we can come to a compromise. Not when I hold all the cards. Wat Tambor and Mace Windu. Listen. File info. Following the separatist invasion of the planet Ryloth, the Jedi Generals Windu, Kenobi and Yoda asked Senator Bail Organa to negotiate with King Katunko of Toydaria, hoping to gain his planet's support as a staging area for the delivery of relief supplies to the Twi'ek people. General Windu personally oversaw the campaign to retake the Twi'ek homeworld. In response to the Republic's imminent counterattack, Wat Tambor, foreman of the Techno Union and separatist Emir of Ryloth, ordered the Confederacy Navy to form a blockade around the planet. As such, Windu entrusted Skywalker and Tano with the responsibility of breaking through the blockade in order to clear a path for the rest of the Republic invasion force. After some difficulty, Master and Padawan succeeded in their task, allowing Windu and Kenobi to commence with the landing of their ground forces on Ryloth. In order to establish a foothold on Ryloth, Windu instructed Kenobi to lead a detachment of the 212th Attack Battalion on a mission to secure the landing area near the city of Nabat. On Tambor's orders, however, the separatist battle droids used the local Twi'ek population as living shields to protect their proton cannons. Despite the danger that the cannons posed to the Republic Navy, Windu informed Kenobi that freeing the hostages was a mission priority. After the success of Kenobi's assignment, Windu and his forces landed on the surface of Ryloth and proceeded with the final phase of the campaign, the liberation of the planetary capital city, Lesu. The liberation of Ryloth moved apace, but the march to the capital was perilous. After sustaining casualties and damage to his all-terrain tactical enforcers, Windu decided to enlist the aid of Kam Sindula, the leader of the local resistance against separatist occupation. Sindula was hesitant to align his cause with that of the Republic, fearing Ryloth would only trade one oppressing force for another. Yet the suffering of his people compelled him to communicate with Ryloth's own senator, Orn Free TAA. Windu long detested politics, but was nonetheless a capable diplomat. His skills as a mediator enabled him to guide the corpulent politician and the freedom fighter to a compromise. TAA vowed that the clone army would withdraw from Ryloth after the remaining separatists were driven away. In return, Sindula promised to not use his popularity with the people to seize power from Ryloth's democratically elected senator. The combined forces of Republic clone troopers and Twi'ek freedom fighters laid siege to Lesu, which Tambor was in the process of evacuating, but not without confiscating much of Ryloth's wealth. The attack on the capital was led by both Sindula and Windu, until the latter broke off from the main fighting in order to prevent Tambor's escape. As a result of the Emir's delayed departure, Tambor was left stranded on Ryloth, allowing Windu to capture him at Sabre Point. Several separatist bombers made a last-ditch attempt to bombard the capital, but their efforts ended in failure as Skywalker and Tano narrowly intercepted and destroyed the enemy starfighters in their respective Delta VII Ether Sprite-class light interceptors. With the liberation of Lesu and the capture of the Skark and Emir, the campaign concluded in victory for both the Republic and Ryloth. Many Twi'eks gathered in the capital to celebrate their renewed liberty as clone troopers and freedom fighters marched through the city in a triumphant parade. General Windu and Commander Pons attended the event, as did Sindula and Senator TAA.